What's going on everyone, it's Chef, and today, as you can tell, we're taking a look at a parry build. I hope you enjoyed that little montage. I do know there are some of you who dislike the montage style and the music, and there will be more of that in this video, but I've also included some raw gameplay without any music towards the end, so if that's what you prefer, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps. If you like PvP build commentaries, satisfying montages, and meta duel gameplay, I would love to have you on the journey to 100k subscribers. Let me know if you subbed in the comments, and I'll be sure to reply with a thank you as soon as I get the chance. Alright, let's take a look at the build. This character is a samurai at level 140, with heavy investment into decks. Meta dueling still isn't really locked into a super tight level range. I have builds at 125 and 130 as well, and I honestly don't see a huge difference between any of them. If you're looking to make your own meta level build for duels, I would start at 125 at least, if not just for the fact that you can't ever level down. As for the equipment, what you saw doing sometimes over 2,000 damage on the reposts was a plus 25 Lightning Misericord. This dagger has 140 crit, making it the highest in the game, and it packs a serious punch. It one-shots people more often than not, so landing a parry basically means instant game over with this build, which makes it really gratifying. I've got the Cragblade as my main weapon that I'd take a few pokes with before going for a parry, but I was really trying to let the parries and reposts shine for the most part. I was using a brass shield just because it went with the sort of golden aesthetic that I was going for, but anything that you can equip the Karian Retaliation Ash of War to will do just fine. For talismans, I'm using the Radagon's Scar Seal, Erdtree's Favor, Great Jar, and the Dagger Talisman. A lot of people ask why I don't use the Sore Seal, and that's because it makes you take 5% more damage than the Scar Seal. And while it's certainly worth the sacrifice at low level, for meta dueling, I tend to prefer the Scar Seal. The Dagger Talisman boosts critical damage by 17%, which is actually pretty substantial and can certainly mean the difference between a one-shot and not. The armor is actually fairly optimized for once, landing me barely under the threshold for medium rolling. In my Physic Flask, I'm using Offensive Tears, which is a bit of a change of pace for me. Both the weapons do scale in strength and deal lightning damage, so it did make them hit a decent bit harder. Quick itinerary for the rest of the video, another montage in just a second, and then I'll go over some of my thoughts about parrying, and tips on how to pull them off effectively, with some raw gameplay to finish. And welcome back. I'm a big believer in 60 Vigor being pretty compulsory for duels, and this build really goes to show why. I know I had that one instance of hitting for over 2k, which even 60 Vigor wouldn't have allowed you to tank, but my own build for instance with nearly 2000 HP and relatively heavy armor, I certainly don't get one shot often, if at all. Even with how powerful the reposts are, it doesn't say to me that parrying is necessarily overpowered, but 2002 damage does make me question how balanced it is at least a little. More often than not though, when I see someone else using a parry shield, I think to myself they've already played themselves in a way. Reaction parrying isn't something a lot of people try to do, so it becomes really easy to bait people into whiffing their parries and punish them for it. 
There's a sharp learning curve when it comes to learning parry timings, and I haven't remotely mastered it, so please don't think I'm trying to portray myself as some sort of parry god, because I can tell you right now, I missed plenty of parries while getting used to the timing, and even though I'm a bit more confident with it now, it's by no means fully consistent. There are some pointers I can give out for how to improve your parrying, but first of all, there are some fights in which you should probably not even attempt it. If your opponent looks like this, maybe try for a less latency dependent strategy. If the connection looks stable, you're in good shape to try it out. I very rarely go for a parry as my first action, since if you're just sitting there turtled up with a shield, the opponent will likely catch on that you're looking for parries, and they'll start to play a lot more passive, or they'll simply just play it safe with jump attacks since those can't even be parried. Most of the time I would go for a couple of light attacks or a sprinting heavy to show them I'm not just going to be waiting for them to swing. Dodging the first few attacks rather than parrying is usually a smart thing to do as well, because it lets you get an idea of what attacks and openings they like to go for before you risk a parry. Not only is parrying a risk because it can leave you wide open for damage when you whiff, but once you miss a parry, a good opponent will immediately lock up and start playing way more carefully. Of course, not everyone cares so much. Some people just swing with no regard and hope that you miss, which usually results in a pretty short match. Quick recap for how I like to play out a match. Do a few running attacks of your own, roll a few of theirs, then look for a parry. There are a few main attacks to keep an eye out for that are generally easier to parry than others. Number one is rolling attacks. This is something that you can very easily bait your opponent into doing. Sometimes just sprinting towards someone will cause them to panic roll and follow it up with an attack. Rolling into the enemy is also a good way to bait it. Just watch for their dodge in response and time your parry near the end of their roll animation. Another thing to look for is sprinting attacks. These are easy to time for parries because you can predict that the opponent will swing at the moment they are within range. Any chained attack is pretty easy to parry as well. You can even block the first hit of the chain and parry the second swing to make it more reliable. I'd say in general that trying to parry attacks from neutral isn't the best idea, but against someone wielding a great sword or one-handing a colossal, I would actually say it's totally reasonable since those are relatively easily reacted to. Once you know the type of attacks to even try parries on in the first place, from there it's just practice. If you've never tried it before in PvP, you'll be making a whole lot of mistakes just like I was before I got used to it. Throw Karian Retaliation on the shield of your choice, get a decent weapon as backup, and just be patient. I think that just about wraps up all I have to say. If you have any questions about the build, or anything at all really, just leave it down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I'll leave you with some raw gameplay to enjoy if you're a fan of the slower paced clips. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.